Hello, Sandra. I just thought the easiest way to communicate this to you would be uh, with a with a video. I was uh, studying the Martha Stewart one, the pagination on there, and there's no. Uh, I couldn't find any quick fixes for WordPress, so that would be pretty lengthy and involved programming. So I wanted to see what you thought about this first. Uh, this is a plugin for WordPress, and it operates pretty good. Uh, we were talking about your tutorials, and you could have it so you know people aren't scrolling down the page. Step one, step two, step three, and if you like this, this is this is just it's probably more effective uh, for search engine optimization and everything because you have all this stuff indexed in your page, and it's not that hard to use. Um, in fact, I I prepared a, a page sample two here on sudostiris.com and I've already put the editor up here so I can show you how this operates. It's really pretty easy. You'll see there's a new little uh, icon up here called the UI icon, icon and you add a tab set and if you're doing this like one step at a time you'll get a little box up here like this, add step times, uh, add a tab set so you put in step number one and then you would put your content in here. Now you can just enter any old text in here that's that you want and just click insert and you see that we have the structure here for the tab and the tab tab set and the contents let's say that we wanted to add an image in there so we'll go ahead and click add media and maybe we'll grab this picture and click insert into image okay so uh, got to make sure that that's in that little thing right there in the content and so we could drag and drop that. Now we could style this picture so that it aligns to the left, to the right, or where, where else, or in, in the center. Right now it's aligned to the left. And we can make it bigger or shorter. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so let's say that we wanted to add another tab to this. So we would just click at the end of this WP tab content and go here and click add a tab set. And this would be step two and then the contents would go in here and just click insert and now um, let's say that you want to add text right after this photo I'm gonna get some Lauren Ipsum text so we can do this quickly like and let me highlight the picture and I'm gonna arrow right click and then just click paste for this Lauren Ipsum stuff and then um, I'm gonna take it make sure that it has no spaces and then we have step two. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture right in here. I'll click it. Uh, I'm going to put it down a little bit here like this. Maybe I'll grab a picture of the cabinets. See that's a floating left here. And I'll click insert into page. And then beside the contents, I'll go ahead and put the Lauren Itsum text in there again or whatever. Um, let me go ahead and unlink this stuff. So it's not linked anywhere. Okay, so now we have that. Now what, what we what we have to do is wrap the whole thing in the uh, the plugins programming. So we highlight all the text, and you see where it says wrap tab set. That this is going to wrap it all together into one little bundle there. And then here you could choose the type tab style default. Uh, the default is just that color that I showed you. Now this mode, horizontal, where we want it to be vertical. So that's the only thing that you would want to do. And then maybe you want it to fade in and fade out or slide in and slide out. And then just click insert. And then uh, one of the things that I found helpful is make sure that it doesn't have any spaces in it. Now one comes right after the other. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then just click update. So then we'll go over here to our sample two page and we'll refresh it. And we see that we have our step one and our step two. So if you like this, you know, just as good, this is gonna be a lot easier fix and a lot more cost effective. And it's it's just as good, if not better, for search engine optimization, you know, as the other pagination plugin. And it's actually faster than Martha Stewart's because the pages uh, 
<clears throat> the way hers is, is, is it's not loaded on the page. So when you click, the people got to wait. This is pretty much instantaneous. As soon as you click, you have that little fade in effect. So if you like this, let me know, and I'll go ahead and install it on Sawdust Girl and then we'll just leave it on sawdust diaries we can do some different styling too we can have this on the left or you can have the tabs across the top or whatever so let me know if you like this and get back to me thanks bye